All across the country today, Americans stopped in front of flickering televisions to witness history. For the last time, the space shuttle, four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans, roared toward the sky. Over the past 30 years, five shuttles have orbited the Earth 21,000 times, and this is what it looked like today as Atlantis went slicing through the clouds, and ABC's Matt Gutman was standing right there. Matt, good evening. Hey, good evening, Diane. First, you feel that, you see that blinding blowtorch of a flash. Then the shock waves come and you start to feel your body vibrate. It was everything that the nearly million people out here, spectators, had hoped for. And more than that, it was a safe launch. Let's light this fire one more time, Mike, and witness this great nation at its best. NASA's final salute to the space shuttle. Two, one. Zero and lift off. Nearly a million enraptured spectators gazed up at that sun bright torch in the sky as they did 30 years ago, cramming roadsides, beaches, and parks to watch the shuttle roar into space. Capping three decades of engineering triumph. Off of America's first space shuttle. The final lift off of Atlantis. And two tragedies. Obviously a major malfunction. The Challenger exploded just after blast off in 1986, and Space Shuttle Columbia disintegrated upon re-entry in 2003. One reason why every mission has been filled with suspense. And today, Atlantis and its crew of four almost never left the ground. Yesterday, this lightning struck right near the launch pad. And today at T-minus 31 seconds. Now, we just hear, Josh, sorry, that there was some sort of failure. The launch delayed until the very last second. But with that technical glitch fix, off it went. America will continue the dream. Shoulder to shoulder, they watched. I got teary-eyed. My, my eyes teared up a little bit. It was, it was emotional for me. It's just awesome. Just screaming and hollering. <laughs> the noise, the brightness, you, you just can't, unless you're standing, you know, this close, you just can't comprehend that. Savoring the spectacle. <laughs> As was Bob Crippen, for the man who put the very first miles on the first shuttle, the end of the road comes too soon. You think it had a few more years left in it? I could fly it another 30 years. Diane, no shuttles, the most complex machines ever built. All of them were made here in America by Americans. But when Atlantis lands back on Earth 12 days from now, and NASA officially ends its shuttle program, 4,000 people will get their pink slips. Diane. And what does this mean for history? Matt, thank you.